Well, it's a full moon. A blue moon, even. And yeah, the ginger dead man and the head of the family were both puppets, but we haven't truly delved into full moon's bread and butter. Puppets who are actually puppets. And today we're going to be looking at their most famous movie, Doll Graveyard. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew, Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Matthew really dragged himself through the crap to find the worst ones there are to be had. Today's episode, Doll Graveyard. Yeah, okay, I lied. This is not Full Moon's most popular movie. It's not even their most popular movie with the word doll in the title. Hell, Charles Band produced a movie that was just called Dolls. Doll Graveyard is not the most popular anything. Regardless, that's the film we're gonna look at today. Why? Because Full Moon has this weird expanded universe thing, and I kind of feel like I should talk about this before I get into some of the other franchises that I actually want to talk about. Ahem. Doll Graveyard came out in 2005 and was directed by the man, the myth... Actually, myth might be a bit of a stretch. The man, Charles Band. Yay. It was co-written by August White, who that same year wrote Ginger Dead Man. Not that writing a movie where nothing happens is particularly time-consuming. The film stars nobody, 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 nobody. Oh, hey, Hannah Marks, someone who actually made something of her career. I mean, she's no A-lister, but usually full moon movies are where careers go to die. The plot revolves around a bunch of girls having a sleepover when ancient puppets rise from the ground and kill them. So, every 80s horror movie but in 2005. Yeah, let's get this over with. And man, I've complained about the low-quality DVDs Full Moon has sent me, but this is what it streams at on their official Amazon page. There is no reason this should be running at anything less than 720p. Trust me, I've streamed a few of their movies, and they usually look better than this. Then again, I also review things that look like this, this, and this, so... Yeah, it fits right in. We open on a little girl playing with her dolls. A little girl doll, a German army doll, a samurai, and a really racist African doll named Ooga Booga. Booga, Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga, Ooga. I mean, it's 1911. I guess that's period accurate. But she breaks a vase and her dad gets mad at her. Stupid, slow witted child. When will you ever learn? Please, Daddy, I won't do it again. Oh, how many times have you said that very same thing to me? Time after time, you promise not to, yet you do it anyway. Please, not again! Hmm, child abuse. A charming way to start a movie. But he decides instead of beating her, he's going to bury her dolls. Because that's worse? And isn't it kind of off to have her doing this? I mean, you're basically letting her know that she could just dig them back up later. Forgive me. Oh, for goodness sakes! Okay, I'm kind of with them on that one. <laughs> Sophia! Uh, she's gotta be alive. That was not that big of a fall. Or maybe the dad's just evil and buried her alive. They don't really make that clear. Wait, astonishing features? I dug around and there is no proof an astonishing features ever existed. It's not listed as one of the many names Full Moon has gone under, and all signs point to this being a Full Moon movie. The only other reference I find to astonishing features is this blog post where the author is just as confused as I am. Apparently, Astonishing Features didn't even make it to the DVD box. It was around this same time Full Moon started distributing under the name Wizard Video. So, my guess is Astonishing Features was the original name and they had already made the credits by the time they settled on Wizard Video. 
I mean, I don't know about you, but I thought that was interesting. Anyway, here's the main characters. A single dad, his daughter Dee Dee, and this other guy. No, nah, I'm serious. His name is just Guy. Dee Dee is all upset that she has to stay home with Guy instead of hanging out with her friends. Then this guy finds a bottle. Oh, and a miniature sword. Kind of astonishing these dolls managed to stay buried for nearly a hundred years. Though, come to think of it, they probably could have just bumped that first scene back to 1905 and had it be a hundred years exactly. About as much as these stupid dolls. They're called action figures. Not too gay. What do you want anyway? Look, if Dad's gonna torture me by leaving us together in the house tonight, you're gonna help me clean up. Sorry, Princess Biatch, but the genie won't grant that wish. The dialogue sucks, okay? Every character sounds like someone who thinks they are way funnier than they actually are. Like, take this. Or, maybe the diary you keep of your lover boy Tom and the list of things you want to do with him. Some of which I think are illegal in over 40 states. Oh, illegal in 40 states! Oh, that's such an original joke! No one's ever done that before! What sex move between two consenting adults is illegal in 40 states but not the other 10? Enjoy your chores, princess. I know this is how I acted when I was a teenager. But it seems like the dad has hypnotized himself. What's her name again? None of your business. It's not her business what her dad's girlfriend's name is? What does it matter what her name is? Full Moon, were you so lazy that you just couldn't come up with a name for his girlfriend? Oh, shocker. She invited her friends over. Hola, girl. I got the champagne. Is, uh, is champagne what the kids are into? Maybe that's an inane comment, but that seems a little highfalutin for a high school party. You know, I finally figured out the difference between you and the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, what's that? Some guys haven't been up the Eiffel Tower. Please stop. I wonder where this is going. She didn't even have to say a line of dialogue, and I knew where this was going. I scored a Hydra Man on eBay. Cool. Isn't he the one you can turn into water? Wow. I'm surprised you know that. Really? Hydro Man's power involves water. Couldn't have guessed that on my own. Although, turning into water sounds like a really shitty power. You won't tell your dad about our little party, will you? No. It's cool. Thanks. Well, a girl kissed him. Better go jerk off. This is a $200 manicure. God, could she be any more of a bitch? Some guys have never been up the Eiffel Tower. Why am I talking to myself? And wait, isn't that character's name Guy? Terry, though. She's hot. I can't believe she knows who Hydra Man is. And she calls them action figures. I know, I regale all my girl troubles to action figures. <laughs> Why don't girls like me? But uh-oh, some boys show up. And their dialogue is as good as I expected. You're such a fucking fag! See, we're on a search for some primetime prune son. Primo Gash. Who uses gash as an expression for vagina? That's like the least sexy euphemism. It sounds like someone cut themselves and I'm trying to stick my dick in the wound. Shit, you know how many times I stopped this freshman in locker at school? I'm going for a record. Next week, maybe I'll stuff your head with the toilet. How about that? Oh my god, we get it. You're gonna die horribly. Oh yeah, rough the kid up. That's a great way to make sure he doesn't tell anyone about this. Look, if I don't stop commenting on every stupid thing these characters do, I'm never gonna get to the plot. So, rest assured, every character sucks. So finally, the dolls rise from their grave. 
but something much worse is happening inside. The girls run out of champagne! Not to worry though, there is weed. No thanks. Don't you know weed makes you go into an evil dimension where you get killed by a bong? See, this is a call forward to the next full moon movie I'm gonna review. So like, in a month, it'll make sense. What the hell? They had beer? Why were they worried about running out of champagne? Hey, get a room. Uh, it's my house, douchebag. Oh, and there's like a voice talking to dude. Get up. So this douchebag Rich wants to get with the Terry girl who clearly likes dude. Not the other chick who's clearly much more his type. Because subversive? But she rejects him. Truly the most compelling subplot. You read that in Cosmo? <laughs> I'm gonna have to subscribe. Just looking for one more thing. Oh, here it is. Get ready for a surprise. Uh, why does it look like she's holding a golf club? It, is this the sex move that's illegal in all but ten states? Kinda curious where this one's going. Yo, this dude's got a seriously weird erection. Yeah, the Kaiser kills him by ramming the spike on his head into the dude's crotch. Ha! <laughs> Gay. And then it takes like two full minutes of screaming and bleeding for this kid to die. Over dramatic much? But they have whiskey too? You have created a problem where none existed. And now Ditsy Blonde doesn't want to fuck Rich because he rejected her. Here. Cut a hole in that. At least it won't say no. When I said I wanted to feel your melons, you know what? That joke's not worth finishing. Oh, and the Kaiser doll has actual bullets on his toy gun. He's fine. Uh, I mean, maybe that's like a ghost power or something. Finally, Terry finds man on the floor. Seems like you could have gotten up off the floor before now. Oh, I forgot. These characters suck. What are you doing up here anyway? I just came up to say hi, I guess. Okay. Hi. Oh my god, if you're gonna bang, just do it already. I always thought you were kinda cool. Cool? Olivia's not the only one who's drunk around here. Okay, I'm not wasted. But if you're in this movie, you're wasting your life! Says the dude making a video about this movie for an audience of maybe a hundred people. It's not here! We must have dropped it somewhere! Somewhere. Not worth it. Cut your losses and leave. Then again, it's hard to be intimidated by something that says Gaga. I know he controls the dolls, but it's just funny to me that his reaction to getting attacked was to just tell them to stop. He's just standing there, menacingly! You gonna attack, or... there you go. And the ghost of the Sophia girl is taking over mail. Hello? Yeah, we need help at... Oh god, what's that address? We, we have people who hurt. Some are dead. We're being attacked by these killer dolls. No, this is not a joke. You have to hurry. Hello? Hello? I don't think 911 can hang up on you. God, even the police in this movie suck. Wait a minute, I forgot my purse. Dead. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, god damn it. Sophia finally steps in and demands something. 
I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know what her motivation is. Does, does she want to be put to rest, or does she just want to play with her dolls again? There is no guy. What? Uh, oh. Uh. There is no being a only soul. <laughs> Are you okay? Guy's not here anymore. Sophia. I think, uh, I think you meant to put that scene earlier. Doesn't make a lot of sense here. Dad gets home and... How many times have I told you, Sophia, this room is off limits to you? I'm sorry, Dad. Stupid, slow-witted child. When will you ever learn? Well, I gotta say, wasn't expecting that. You've got to stop this! They're killing your dad! He hurt me! He deserves what he gets! Dad? Dad, no! No, stop! I have no fucking idea what is going on in this scene. Anyway, they bury the dolls. I, I guess that's what Sophia wanted. I don't know. You were really great in there. The way you almost killed your dad because you were possessed by a ghost was great. The end. Or is it? Well... Much like Head of the Family, there was a sequel planned that never came to fruition. However, this one did have a follow-up in the form of the spin-off movie, Ooga Booga, based on the runaway star of this film? Yeah, this was some generic-ass shit. If you've seen one of these full moon puppet doll movies, you've seen them all. I much prefer their weird shit like Head of the Family or Evil Bong. That is, when they're trying. This is a dime a dozen horror movie with no interesting characters or ideas, a bunch of inane dialogue, and a cast of puppets that mostly look goofy with the exception of the main doll, who looks like something straight from Spirit Halloween Store. This is just padding to the Full Moon Library, which has decent films, but is so watered down by this bullshit. As for me, I'm gonna go find my protesting sign. It's time to legalize golf club sex. Oh god, where did I put that sign? <laughs> oh no, it appears some dolls have come to life to try to attack me. I got this. Stop! <laughs> hmm, that didn't work. Well, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Hydro Man Powers! Activate! Well, this sucks. Rich jerk. I might have already said that. Yeah, you did. But it's worth repeating. Egads! It's my arch nemesis, Towel Man!